Yasu Pedia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Cafe Game series. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a cup dispenser. Um, this is something that, you know, you would go up to and click for a cup that you would give to the uh, person, the barista, and they would, of course, use this cup to go around and make your order. Now, um, this video is going to be specifically just on making the machine or making the little cup giver and then, you know, getting the cup, of course. And um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty simple. I already gave you all the assets when needed. Um, if you haven't seen any of the videos uh, and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, you guys. It means so much to me. Um, I, the next video will probably be about, like how to use the cups and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to make maybe a few machines with that, which will take me just a second, but I will do that for you guys. Um, but yeah, so... What we're gonna do is you're gonna go in the description and we're gonna uh, hop on the studio, okay? So make sure you're in the studio. And as you can tell, we are already on the, uh, the links will be in the description, of course. So yes, make sure to check that out. Um, and when you get the link, of course, it should take you to that cafe cup dispenser model. Um, feel free to claim it or download it, whatever you guys wanna do with that. And once you do that, um, you're gonna hop in your cafe game. Now, um, I already have my main and everything. And last time we left off, uh, if you remember, we had a bunch of stuff going on. We had the menus, uh, we had all of the doors and top over bar handler. So, you know, feel free to go watch that tutorial if you haven't already. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff you need to catch up on. Um, and the reason I do say you need to catch up on it is because I will be using a lot of the scripts to, you know, make the game uh, itself and uh, make it the way it is. Um, but yeah, so uh, I do have some stuff in here now. Um, if I were to play right now, and I'm just going to show you what it's like because I already have it made. Um, if you remember, guys, we left off. We had overheads, all the ranks, boba points, all that stuff. And I forgot to tell you guys, yes, it is a boba game, so it's going to be like boba. Um, so I will show you the tools that I have made already for this. Um, I need to fix this because it's changing my avatar off of nothing. <laughs> but as you walk up to it, now it, it, there is a little proximity. It says small cup, large cup. Um, I might change this actually uh, to Billboard GUI, which I can show you if you want. It's all up to you guys. You know, it's really just a peripheral preference, but um, kind of made them like this. Go up to them, and then it's a proximity prompt, so you can hold the E, or it's going to work for Xbox or remote. And I picked the large one, so it's going to give me the cup, and it's right here. So this is the cup that we have for now. Um, the scripts are disabled, so there's nothing really working. If you do enable it, it will work, but you need to use a drink animation, which I'll talk about. Um, but yeah, so it's just the cup itself, of course. So I have the large one. And then if I go right here, I have the small one. Um, just like this. So you can tell, small, large. And I decided, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. You know, you can have two two sizes, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so pretty simple. Um, nothing too hard. Nothing to make. So what you're going to do is when you get the model, you're going to go to your inventory. It should be right here. And um, it should just be in your inventory, cafe cup dispensers. And I'm just going to do it for you real quick to show you how I made it. So once you click this, and I'm going to I'm gonna go through everything for you. Um, there's going to be a few things. So you're going to go inside. There's a readme if you don't want to you know, do whatever. But I would watch the video. I'd recommend it. <laughs> so you need to ungroup this and replicate storage. So feel free to grab this and ungroup it in there, okay? I already have that in there, so I'm not going to do that. This is going to have the cups. And then the drink animation, there is one I just provided if you want to use that. But we need to fix it because it is in the left hand. And he's drinking out of the right. It's weird. But, um, yeah, so that. And then, of course, we have workspace, which you need to just un grab this too, which is just going to be the dispensers. So feel free to grab that and put it in workspace under the assets folder. So I have more assets in here, which I'll do later. But, um, of course, the cups folder. Um, yeah, this is all going to work pretty well because I'll just give you the models and you can just kind of add them all together. There's nothing really too hard with this. Um, but I'm doing a lot of local and server script kind of stuff. Um, nothing too, like module base for you guys so like you know you don't it's not gonna just kind of like it won't be it won't be as complicated so let me show you real quick so i'm gonna show you how you can make your own okay um let's say we wanted to add a medium cup okay let's just do it let's just add a medium cup now inside of here well of course when you do this you want to name them different just to be you know organized everything like that um we have the dispenser which is kind of just like the design of it so you guys can mess around with this. Do whatever you want. Now, this could be like, when I'm talking about this, um, that could be anything. You could go into this here and look for like, uh, oh, sorry, uh, coffee, like a cup, coffee cup or something. And it might pop up some stuff. You know, if you want coffee cup, you want like one of these ones. Um, 
you could pop that up. You could use this. So honestly, we'll use this as an example. Let's let's actually do this. Let's use this as an example, okay? Because I think a lot of you guys are probably curious how you make your own, right? So let's say we wanted to make a, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's redo this. This is a medium. We're going to do this. We're going to make a coffee cup dispenser because I actually want a coffee cup dispenser for my game. So we go right here. I'm going to say, I'll say coffee cup dispenser. So we can go in here dispenser wise. We can honestly, we can delete this cup right here. Okay. We can grab this guy and we can go and we can flip it. Let's go flip it upside down. Oh, that's kind of cool. Perfect. Looks really good. Right? So you can go like that and it has the coffee cup. It's already on there. And then what we can do is we can uh, grab this, put this inside of here. Uh, make sure it is anchored guys, by the way, make sure that is true. Um, and then of course, uh, dispenser, we're good display. We can change this uh, text label to, uh, say coffee cup. So, um, coffee cup. Yeah, let's do that coffee cup. And then of course we have the proximity problem, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, what we'll talk about right now. Um, if you go in here, you can change the stuff like max activation, activation distance. I just did five cause that's really close. Hold duration is one. I'd recommend keeping it at that. Um, take is the action text and then object text you should change to uh, whatever it is. So coffee cup um, And then honestly, I would recommend spacing out just a little bit because uh, Proximity prompts can get a little annoying but coffee cups. So down in here We're gonna just go inside the script now how this script works is we're grabbing replicate storage And we're gonna go to the toolpath toolpath is gonna be in replicate storage And we're gonna go into that and find the assets folder as said and we're gonna find wait for cups and then we are going to go away for child and then we're going to grab the cup. So this is going to be a coffee cup. So we will do this in a sec, but we're just going to go coffee cup like this. Okay. So we have coffee cup and then we have a local function give to player. So basically you can just uh, give this to a player. We just find the tool path, give the, and we find the player we clone the tool because we don't want to just take it right out. We're going to clone it and we're going to set that parent of the clone to our backpack. So we're going to give it to the player in the backpack and we're going to do that by when the proximity prompt gets triggered, we're going to run this function. Okay. So pretty simple stuff. Um, basically, yeah, that's that's that. Um, so you're good on this portion. You're pretty much done already. So you can like literally create as many cups as you want, guys. Do whatever you need to do with that. Um, and if you want to be cool, add some like sound effects to it. You know, it's really simple to do that kind of stuff. Add some sound effects. You also can add animations. Um, I may make a tutorial on that later of like adding animations on how to like, you know, do the cup go down and up, you know, stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool, right? Um, so... Now that we've done that, we do want to make the tool. So what I recommend doing is grabbing and duplicating one of these. Okay. And we're just going to put in workspace. So this is the one right here. We're going to grab this. And as you can tell, we have this right here. So we're going to call this coffee cup. Okay. Now, um, how I made the boba things, and I'll just actually explain it real quick. There's the handle, there's the liquid. Now, okay. If you look on, if you do this real quick, I wanted to show you how we're going to be using this later. Um, you can see the liquid, right? So that liquid is going to be, you know, when we use the machines and then also in here, there's the boba. So inside the boba, you do transparency and you can see that all the boba is, um, in there and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll work on that later, but so we don't need boba. We don't need glass. We do need a handle. We don't need liquid. Uh, handle is always really important. Uh, touch interest. That's good. Um, so yeah. And then the local script will kind of go through later, which I'll talk about, um, in another episode. Um, but yeah, so we're going to grab that coffee cup again, actually. And I'm going to bring it down here. Um, and so we're going to go find that handle. Let's actually, I'll put it inside already. And now this, you want to make sure it's, uh, can collides on, uh, it's, it is a cup or you can turn it off and then anchors off. Make sure that isn't on actually. So handle, um, I'm just going to put this like right next to it. Okay. Um, this just works fine. I'll just go like right here. That should be good. Think of it like how the player is going to touch it, you know, um, and handle can collide should be off as well. So. Um, yeah, so basically I can actually go here plug in now, if you don't have moon animator grab it because it's gonna help you weld things So this is when you're making things, you know weld them to each other. That's how you do it So now that I have that there's one more thing you do need to do There is a plugin called tool grip editor now. That's just if you want to it's preferable. I recommend it um, Tool grip editor you can go in here and see uh, how it already um, There's a little tool grip thing so I can see how it's gonna look, you know so um this is kind of what's showing me now i don't want it to look like that i want it to look um, it's actually easier if my freaking camera wasn't in the way um actually i'll put it up here for you guys um yeah so you can see that a little bit easier um i want it to look a little more straight 
and it seems like it's not even touching it. So we want to come in just a little more. So kind of like right there. Perfect. All right. So that's what it's going to look like. So when you're good, you can just uh, yeah, exit out of that um, and click out of it. And uh, once you have that coffee cup, I don't know why I put it all the way over here. But that's kind of funny. Uh, let's make sure everything's on anchor, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, now you can put this back in the cups folder. Okay. So we have that. And then if we go and we click play, this should work. Let me just double check. But yeah. So simple stuff with the coffee and the cups. Um, I want to make a separate tutorial because I really want to go in depth on all these kind of things. And I need to fix this. <laughs> ugly. Okay. Coffee cup. Perfect. And perfect. All right. So now you have the coffee cup. It's in your hand. Pretty simple, right? Um, you may want to make it a little smaller. This is a little too big, <laughs> but I didn't really notice that. But yeah, so you, you kind of get the point, right? Um, but like I said, it's it's recommended to add some sounds, you know, you know, you're taking the cups. There's probably like cup sounds you can do, um, things like that. But yeah, it allows you to take multiple so you can take as many as you want. Um, the reason we do want to do this is because, yes, someone's probably going to be taking multiple cup orders, blah, blah, blah. Um, now. The thing that we're going to do is we're going to add it. So like Boba Cup, you know, if you add certain things to it, it's going to give you ice. Um, it's going to give you Boba. Um, and there's going to be specific ways. Actually, I think I'll probably program it a certain way so you don't have to do it specifically certain ways. I know that kind of was with coffee and stuff because it's kind of you make coffee. But um, we'll, we'll figure it out how we want to do it. But yeah, so you coffee cup. Um, and then, of course, if you want to add milk and all that jazz and add a cap onto it, you could always uh, do that kind of stuff later, which I'll talk about. But um, yeah, pretty simple. You have that little little thing going on for you. Um, yeah, you guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed that kind of like little tiny tutorial. Um, I know you guys are wanting little videos. We're going to make these very advanced and I want to make things look really good for you guys. So I will probably be updating them myself and making them super nice. Um, and then, of course, for the tutorial wise, you know, uh, we'll just we'll figure it out. We'll think about things we can do with that but um yeah that's about it you guys um please feel free to the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video